For many students, it can be difficult finding time to stop and think about the type of career you want. Career planning subjects are designed to give you the time to look at the connection between what you are studying, the skills and knowledge you have developed in paid and unpaid employment, community involvement, and the career that you will have after graduating. My name is Jason Brown, and I'm the subject coordinator for two engaging and flexible career planning subjects. I'll give you a brief overview of these subjects, and I'm more than happy to speak to you about these in more detail. The career planning subjects are designed for you to develop a greater understanding of how careers are formed and developed over time, and how the skills and knowledge you gain at university in other, and in other parts of your life can be applied in a career. We also examine how social, demographic, technological and occupational trends may affect careers in the future. And we look at contemporary workplace issues to develop an understanding of the impact on careers and how individuals may adapt. In Work Ready Skills and Planning Your Career, you will identify how work ready skills are developed through part-time employment, volunteer work and academic studies. You will examine the future of work and analyse the likely impact of social, demographic, technological, occupational and industrial trends on your career development. You will also get the opportunity to engage with professionals working in your preferred occupation and develop an understanding of career planning and decision making processes. HUM 2WRS is a fully online subject worth 15 credit points. In 2014, we will teach this subject in semester one. You can work through the subject at your own pace or follow the weekly structure in the LMS. Each weekly topic contains a video of a recorded lecture, readings and activities. Online forums are used to discuss the t each topic and assessment tasks. The subject will consist of topics such as the future of work, career development theories, decision-making theory, technological tools to support career development, identifying career and lab labor market information, informational interviewing, networking for career building and maintenance, graduate employability skills, effective writing skills for job applications, interviews and assessments, and planning your career. Assessment tasks are designed to make the content of this subject relevant to your career aspirations. There will be two essays, a portfolio, and three short online quizzes. Even though the subject is taught online, you still have access to speak with the teaching staff. We are all accessible by email, phone, or face-to-face -face for consultations. In career management and contemporary workplace issues, we examine contemporary issues in career development, including the meaning of work, workplace professionalism, and rapid changes affecting the future of work. This subject will encourage you to evaluate and make connections between the knowledge and skills that you have developed in a range of settings, including academic studies, paid and unpaid work, and co-curricular activities. Career development theories will be discussed in relation to career management, and the transition from university to professional employment. The 15 credit point subject will be offered for the first time in semester two, 2014. We have come up with a flexible design, a blend of online learning and face-to-face -face workshops. You will complete an online module and readings prior to attendance at an interactive workshop. Three workshops, each running for three hours, will be scheduled in weeks three, six and 10 of semester two. A final online module will set out the readings and activities necessary to complete a portfolio for a major assessment task. All online modules will feature videos, readings and learning activities. A range of topics will be presented such as career resilience, contemporary workplace issues, career management, career development theories and change and transition. There will be a mix of assessment tasks, including online quizzes, a collaborative project, which will only be assessed on your contribution to the project, an essay, and a portfolio of reflective writing tasks. If you are interested in enrolling in either of these subjects, please check with your faculty that you are eligible to do so, as some courses have limited space for elective subjects. If you are studying at Melbourne, Bendigo, Aubrey Wodonga, Mildura or Shepparton campuses, then you are able to enrol in these subjects. The workshops for the third year subject will be taught on all of those campuses as long as minimum enrolment numbers are achieved. 
You can enrol in these subjects through student on online or by contacting your faculty office. One final point about these subjects is that once the semester starts, you will have access to all the learning materials, including readings, activities and assessment tasks from within the LMS. This means that you have the flexibility to work through the subject at your own pace and to plan ahead for all of your assessment tasks. If you have any further questions about these subjects, please send me an email. Uh, my address is jason.brown at latrobe.edu.au. Thank you.